Right lads, the year is 1187 and the Third Crusade is about to begin. For those of you who don't know, this one didn't end too well for the King of Jerusalem. Uh, Saladin himself would come and take the city, but not before having uh, a couple of bouts with uh, his famous rival Richard the Lionheart. Uh, the Third Crusade is a little bit uh, beyond this point. Technically it should launch in about two years or so. Uh, at this point in time, one of my favourite English kings, uh, probably my favourite English king, Henry II, is... Uh, on the throne. This is what England used to look like on his reign. I want to point out that this man, this Henry II man, had this <laughs> when he started, right? He had this land. Uh, and from there, he would take advantage of his ties with his father and also Princess Matilda, which should be Empress Matilda. She was married to the Holy Roman Emperor. Uh, and just before this period of time, uh, so it's worth noting just before this period of time, we had a bit of a civil war in England. Uh, it was a period called the Anarchy, where everyone would build their own castles and everything sort of collapsed because the uh, the King, Henry I, Henry Beauclerc, here you go, who was the son of William the Conqueror, would die uh, after his son died in the white ship accident. I'm now just like sort of giving a history lecture. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take down the formality a little bit. Basically, guy drowned along with a lot of English nobility. Kind of sucks for them. Uh, they drowned in excrement, actually. Uh, it was in the marshes, so that's that sucks. Uh, but that meant that he didn't have a male heir. He named his daughter Matilda, who was married to the em the Holy Roman Emperor, even after they were separated because he died. <laughs> I felt I don't know why I said was separated because he died. Even after the emperor died, uh, she called herself the Empress. Uh, and uh, England was torn in two between Stephen of Blois, which uh, would occupy the English throne, and Matilda trying to claim back the throne with the help uh, of her. Then husband uh, Joffrey. Yeah, Joffrey. I'm about, to, I'm about to get that wrong. And then when he was around 16, I think it was, uh, Henry would march in after proving himself to be a very capable military commander. This, I feel like, is a very, very understated stat. Uh, and it forced Stephen to sign a peace, which meant that when Stephen died, Henry would take over the throne. That's your history lesson over here. The reason I'm saying all of this is because of this. I don't want to say the book. I don't want to get demonetized, but I have very strong feelings about Richard the Lionheart. I despise him. If you've seen any of my videos, you know I despise him with a passion. Um, so what is about to happen, historically, is Richard the Lion, and this is why it matters, <laughs> a really long tangent here. Henry, the, uh, Richard the Lionheart is about to become king after betraying his father. This is, some people don't, uh, don't know this, but uh, with the support of his mother, uh, the Duchess of uh, Aquita, uh, she, he would, and also his brothers, would revolt against his father. They tried this previously, he defeated them because he's a badass, but he would sell off key towns over here to the French in return for uh, the French king uh, fighting against Henry II. Uh, and as the legend goes, uh, it was the final betrayal of his son, who would then become king later, Prince John, uh, switching sides, because he was always loyal, right? And there's a bit of brother brotherly uh, rivalry where everyone hated John. Uh, <laughs> uh, eventually John would be made uh, because they felt he got uh, special favors, um, and John himself would switch sides against his father, and his father apparently died of a broken heart <laughs> because of the stress of John switching sides, which sucks. Because all of these guys, all of his sons, were very capable in their own right. He gave them indip like, individual areas to, uh, to, to rule over, whether it was uh, trying to, I think he put his first son in, in, in charge of Brittany, um, and all this other stuff. Uh, they were very capable rulers, but they just sort of were very, very greedy. Anyway, after ascending to the kingship, um, Richard the Lionheart would be fascinated with this idea of a crusade. He was a very capable military uh, commander and would secure key uh, land against the French. Uh, and I believe it was uh, this lot, they would all decide, okay, peace and we'll go and fight the Muslims. Uh, he turns up and he's such an insufferable military leader. Everyone hates him so much that they are crusading and they go home. <laughs> Everyone else leaves because they can't stand him. He was that annoying that after he signs a peace with Saladin, he claimed victory, by the way, but realistically, Jerusalem would fall, the strategic aims weren't taken, so he definitively lost the crusade. No argument in my mind. As he's sailing home, he gets kidnapped by the Holy Roman Emperor. He was that annoying, and then was ransomed back to England for what is known as a king's ransom, uh, which was, I think, two years worth of tax from England to pay him back, uh, just to buy back the king. And then he dies. <laughs> he gets shot with a crossbow bolt. <laughs> He did nothing useful, and he's like venerated in English history, and I cannot figure out why. Because <laughs> he sucks. <laughs> as a human, he did horrible things as well. He was he was a good military commander, but bloody hell was he annoying. Now that I've calmed down, and presumably the people that have uh, have just wanted to see gameplay have skipped all of that, 
We are going to be playing as the Count of Acre, uh, and we are going to be trying to promote the survival of the King of Jerusalem. Here's the catch. If Saladin declares war on us, and we lose, it'll be for a holy war, so we will lose our lands as well. So we have to both prop up the king whilst also trying to become the king. The conditions, as I'll call them, is I have to live, right? So at any point if the game is over, the game is over. But I can leave, right? I can go and take out Cyprus and come back. But the aim is to secure ourselves as the king of Jerusalem. Uh, so this will be a little bit of an interesting one. Right, so we're starting with Count as Count uh, Jocelyn, uh, who is gluttonous, chase, and content. He's an aggressive attacker, not a bad guy. His wife is also gluttonous, a match made in heaven. She's greedy and trusting. God, she'd be the perfect person for any sort of crypto scam, <laughs> if you think about it. He actually already has the... Does he have the gallant trait? I believe he does. Good job, lad. Okay. Let's go for authority focus then. Start trying to do that sort of stuff. I okay, could declare war on Sultan Yusuf. Yeah, somehow I don't think I'm going to do that one, Chief. Ah, oh, I love that this period of history is great. <laughs> there was so much infighting with the, uh, with the Crusaders, which is really ironic because what allowed the First Crusade to succeed because the First Crusade, by all accounts, should not have succeeded. It was ill-prepared, they were cannibals, <laughs> they, 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 were, they were good at fighting, but like, they weren't like geniuses. They just generally threw themselves at the enemy. And the enemy were like, uh, 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 and then they would run away. And it worked really well, but there was so much, one of the main reasons they succeeded was there was so much infighting. Like, if you, if you were the Emir of Aleppo, right, or of Damascus, uh, or these different places, you generally didn't care who was in charge. Um, it's only after that the Crusaders was established themselves that there was this sort of like anti-Christian sentiment that, you know, we need Jerusalem, we need Jerusalem. There was um, uh, like sermons and stuff given after the conquest. They didn't really care. And there wasn't even that much like of, a, of an urge to go and take back Jerusalem until Saladin unites people on that basis. Actually, it was um, Saladin's predecessor. What was his name? Because Saladin was the vizier. He took over as the vizier. He wasn't exactly like... Was it Nuruddin? I think it was Nuruddin was his name. But he was like the first one that was actually, man, we've got to go get Jerusalem. And he united this area. And then Saladin um, was put in charge, or, or at least was the vizier of the, I think his father maybe was the vizier? Or his uncle was the vizier? Something like that. Anyway, Saladin was, was, was helped the administration of the uh, Egyptians who were Shiite at the time. Okay, I'm going to... Bit more history here. Uh, basically, there was a, a bit of an alliance uh, between the Crusaders who wanted the territory and the Shiite uh, Egyptians against Nuruddin because they were scared of Nuruddin like conquering Jerusalem. Uh, and there was a massive miscommunication. Uh, I think it was the Second Crusade um, where they were, didn't really help their friends in uh, Shia uh, Egypt, and that allowed Nuruddin to take over the entire Caliphate, pretty much. And then they came back, and the Crusade failed. <laughs> So they basically accidentally made Nuruddin twice as strong. Or at least the Muslims in this region. I'm not going to give you a timestamp to skip that bit of history. That's very important. Okay. So we have a lot of infighting. And I think our best solution is to get out of Dodge. That doesn't mean conquering some of this lot. Can I ally anyone? Who's my heir? My daughter. She's pensive, generous, and content. Not a horrible kid. The cowardly lackey. So not a great person. Yeah, the Principality of Raska really isn't that bad. 3,000 or 4,000 men. Perfect. You might be too old. <laughs> I need a kid. I'm gonna have to kill you. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to kill my wife. Uh, <laughs> my court, like, uh, yeah, bit naff, really. I'm not switch her out real quick. Uh, not taking that risk. <laughs> she just, there's nothing really funny about it. I'm just not like, uh, the, no. All right, we've got an alliance with you. You have 4,000 troops. You're also fighting the Byzantines. Oh. Against Kumania. Whoa, 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 that's a big ass. Well, what happens on enforced demands? Bulgaria gets independence. Yeah, well, they're definitely gonna do that, aren't they? So remember when I said that, uh, that there was gonna be an issue? Uh, this is that issue. Uh, we do have some holy orders around here, I believe. No, no, there are no Catholic holy orders, which feels really historically inaccurate. But on the bright side, it's not for me. You made Duke Raymond my liege? Bro, I don't like this guy. All right, we're going to have to uh, succumb to the infighting. Take out Balbec. What about Tiberius? Owned oh, by my, my Duke Raymond. <laughs> Where's Raskin, man? Woo, this is going to get dicey. If I click accept, I die. So I have to decline. You want to do this now, man? Really? <laughs> um, okay. You don't like me enough? You don't like me enough to come and save me? Okay, I need you to like me. Can I not send you a gift? I don't have 225. Can I borrow money? <laughs> we are going to die. Oh, we are so dead. Go into the ocean, go into the ocean, go into the ocean. Okay, <laughs> this is not good. Well, well, well. Look who just got stack wiped. Go! <laughs> Summon everyone. <laughs> Dudes. Oh, God. Oh, why am I clicking here? This doesn't matter. Um, You want to call it a draw? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Saladin just came in and saved their lives. If 
I just stand on his capital, they might be, we can just keep raising armies, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna carpet siege him. Where is his lands? If I just stand on his lands, he can't raise any more troops. We just gotta hope that he doesn't... No, is that trying to kill me? He's wiped out everyone. I'm the only one left. Oh, they've got 483. Um, what else can I do? Is it war with you? My, my daughter's at war with me? Oh, the game's broken. <laughs> he doesn't have enough troops. Oh my god. <gasps> Help! Go, go! Let's kill my wife. She's dead. <laughs> Dude, I'll marry someone, Herculean. Should be good. Why do you know that? Fine. Dude, who, who, li who leaked this? <laughs> Everyone just suddenly telling me they know I killed my wife. All right, we've stack wiped him. Well, I say we. Our buddies over in Serbia have stack wiped him. Let me, uh. Ah, he's split in two. Ah, he's being attacked by Duke. Oh, no, it's us. <laughs> he's not allied to us, but he's in the war. Okay, so go ahead and break this betrothal. <laughs> kind of useless now, though. <laughs> so what happens? We just depose him. Who's the sec? Who's his uh, child? Where is he located? Oh, he's in Tripoli. We couldn't find him. Because it'd be great to just imprison him. There we go. We've deposed him. All of my counselors died in that war. Every single one of them. So you have 469 troops. And I imprisoned your wife. <laughs> this works well for me. Okay. I need... I need... Oh, you're pregnant? I need another ally. Okay, we're not getting anyone nearly as powerful as we did before. Which sucks because it's, uh, the Muslims will probably turn up. The issue is we need independence from Jerusalem, right? And then we can... Ooh, Antioch apparently got annexed. Okay, because we can get independence from Jerusalem. We can fail to swear fealty to the Muslims. And... Oh, yes. Okay, he's Hale. We'll take him. We'll call him Jocelyn. Are you... Richard the Lionheart's in charge? The saddest day of my life. What about Prince? Oh my god, Joffrey's dead. You took his land from him? Oh no. He just lives in Meath. He's Duchess Marie's personal champion. John, no. Oh, how... God damn, how different that is. Seljuk Rum. I'm, I'm pretty sure I just said Rum before. Don't know why you're now Seljuk Rum. You've got 10,000 troops. You can call yourself whatever you want, bud. Yeah, the Byzantines are pretty screwed. Where are you located? No, I think I will keep your air. But I want to claim. I can take your land because you're weaker than me. Oh, nice Templars been born. Perfect. Or military engineer? Yes, please. What Menatoms do we have? I'm going to say you are the traitor. Then I'm going to get the claim. Then I'm going to... Damn it! <laughs> I don't want a robust guy on the throne. Please tell me his name's Guy. Oh, that's been great. Job. Fortunately, didn't end up that way. Stop trying to sleep with me. I play Paradox games. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you're up against. Saud is going to be my uh, spy master. We have this our steward. Abdul Latif, oh, great name that. And Robert de Courtney. <laughs> Lovely. Please join my court. I'm desperate for people who actually know what they're doing. Uh, Saud, you can go there. Abdul Latif is going to be. By master, you'd both as my chancellor. Perfect. We've got a full, a full council for the first time. That's nice. I'd love to murder you, Balbeck. And I can. I don't have the prestige. Why do I have negative prestige? What's going on here? <laughs> We're all going to die. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's gone so poorly. <laughs> oh, I need to get independent. I could have sent the siege. Why? Okay, so I'm assuming you took the land. This is not good. I just need positive prestige so that I can go after Balbeck. And then we can actually start, you know, rolling a little bit. Uh, I need you to give me more children so I can marry them off. You're 34? Ooh, we may have to get a divorce. Or I can divorce you the other way. Like I divorced my last wife. What? No, nothing. It's okay, darling. Go for a stroll near that cliff. Okay. I need to get a feast going. Or a hunt, because I need prestige. There you go. Got a hunting trophy. 150 prestige. You guys declared war on Emir Muhammad. The Mongols have risen up with Temujin. What do you mean I doubt he'll get very far? This is not good. So, to recap, Richard the Lionheart's in charge. Not great. We're going to be killed by the Muslims. Pfft, not great. But then we also have the Mongol Empire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Khagan Temujin is probably going to be tearing the world a new one. In the meantime, Richard is dead. And we've got King Henry III, a one-year-old boy. Philip really Augustus was a good king, so I'm glad they've got him properly represented here. Anyway, back to our impending doom. How do we have, how do we lose more prestige? Reputation for underhandedness. Bro, please, I just got that prestige. I just want to declare on Balbeck. That's all I've ever wanted. <laughs> Can't declare this war without using a hook on my liege due to the Romans wars. Wonderful. Right, go on, Jocelyn, fight. What? Did you win? He drew a 14-foot shaft through the back of my knight's Abdul Latif's skull. Yeah, that's pretty badass. He's six years old and he just killed two men. <laughs> go on, my son. You were killed by a six-year-old kid, man. Like, that's not great. You have a 14-foot pole. And he's only six. That's, that's impressive. Plus, that guy lost me 150 prestige. So, I'm not complaining too hard. We can do it. We can do it. We can go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm going to do this first. 
Okay, so first things first. Hey, Duchess Louisa, you kind of suck. Not gonna lie. It's cute, but, but sure, whatever. I'm gonna need a favor. Modify my vassal contract. I will give you more feudal taxes if you will allow me to declare war. You'll do it? Perfect. Love that from you. Huge. Absolutely huge. You, the forgiving gambler. It's not a good trait to have. Okay, now we declare war. And then we spend our negative prestige as per usual. Perfect. We may well do this. He made it just enough. I need 500 troops. <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep fighting until I can't capture him, so I'll just have to wait. The way troops come back. Five, six, eight. Okay. Go, 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 go. Siege, 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 siege. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we've got 13 troops, nine troops, five troops. Ah! <laughs> right, some of you go home. What the hell is this? Liberty War. Okay, just don't kill my troops, please. No, no, don't kill me. Please. <laughs> Let me do this. Okay, we've got it. It's been a rocky start, but almost 20 years after the start of the game, we have our first. We have our first. Extra province. Also, this guy. How are you a zero in all categories? Your traits are all good. You're robust, insightful, think a diligent, patient, and brave, but you have a zero in every- Nope, that's because you're dead. <laughs> oh no, you're just wondering. Okay, well that's fun. All right, start educating this kid. Why are you reclusive? You just, kid, just do, just be normal. All right, so you are the ruler. I reckon I could beat you in a fight. Don't be shy, that's the worst one. Paranoid's better than shy. Okay, she has 847 troops. We have more than that. I personally think we could probably... It's kind of nice things, can I? All right, who's gonna educate us? You are a skilled tactician, you do it. Brave or wrathful? Brave is the way to go, isn't it? Likelihood of dying in battle plus 100%. All right, I need someone who's Herculean. We need to start the uh, genetic programs, the eugenics. All right, Herculean, strong. Why is it picked Helen? Oh, she has the strong trait. She's 21. Damn, she's got a lot of good traits. I'm 26, Marshall. <laughs> go on, love. Get in here. Right, excellent. Turn up. Wonderful. You and I will be the best couple ever. I am 11 years old. You are 10 years my senior. You should be ashamed of yourself. My heir is unmarried. The best I can do is the city of Casa. Oh, that's because it's um, set too strong, right? Yeah. Get rid of that. Alliance power. You seem like you're in the path of, of, of the Mongols. So I'm going to just say, good luck. That's great. I don't need that in my life. What are you? Zadar. It's, it's it's only 2,000 troops, but honestly, only 2,000 troops is still 2,000 troops. Um, try to sway the Pope. I can't. I'm not 12. A requirement for interacting with Catholics, but... Why have I just said that? <laughs> that's a bit... That's a bit... That's a bit roly. Dude, his wife is a ghoul. That is a terrifying name. <laughs> She's spindly. Yeah, she looks it. How are you, like, in alive? Oh, diligent. Wonderful. Yo, this kid. How am I brave and diligent? He's curious. He no, 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 no. I am going to be martial. I am going to be martial. I don't care. Even if he's going to suffer, he's going to struggle. I don't care. He's going to be it. I'm going to become athletic as well. Go on, kid. You got this. Start grabbing ourselves some claims. We've discovered divine right. That's wonderful. Do we have the multiple claims on? All right. You become a misguided, misguided warrior. I need that extra little bonus because that will help with our. Dude, he looks like a badass as well, but his face is too big. What is that jawline, dude? It's got a square ass jaw. Go on, my son. You're gonna lead every battle yourself, kid. You got this. You're a spine blade master. When you were just six, you murdered a man in cold blood. Uh, let us grab men at arms. Crossbowmen do more damage, it looks like. Ah, that's useful. The Ayubids have split up. The threat is less prominent now. Okay, you're not married to anyone. Let's go in. We are an aggressive attacker. We learned that from our father. Oh, excellent, kiddo. Go, do it again. Do it again. Okay. So you're pretty good. My wife's pregnant. That's good to see. Oh, God. She's Orthodox and Greek. Oh, I have sinned. It's one thing my father taught me. Oh, that's another... Oh, we've captured her. She was leading her troops. Thank you for the land. You are still my liege. What just happened? Did he just nick my capital? What? <laughs> I'm going to reload and see if that happens again. But you can't just steal my land. It just takes it off us. Okay, well, if it happened canonically, I've, I've got to let it happen, don't I? I don't see how that happened. <laughs> I'm very upset. <laughs> Okay, so if anyone could tell me what the hell just happened, that would be much appreciated. Uh, I don't quite understand that. Uh, I'm more than a little upset about it. And I built stuff in it. So did I like lose my claim or? I have a claim on it still. Can I get it back? Only if I beat him in battle. Well, I've got a kid. All right, well, let's, go. let's continue to get claims, I suppose. <laughs> I can't believe I lost my family. That's not the seat. It's not like it's like it was Jerusalem. Jerusalem's independent. <laughs> what? What's going on? I don't know what happened there. 
call you Jocelyn anyway after myself, even though you're not. Like, I'm pale and she's strong. Just saying. Someone is, uh, not being too... Too faithful. 26 prowess though. Minus two because I'm wounded. Paranoid, I'm gonna kill him. My dread is currently uh, 45. <laughs> Who the hell are the Tauron dynasty? I mean, look, I know this is like t like an alternate history, right? At the end of the day, that's that's what this is. It's so alternate. <laughs> oh, the Khan is dead. Hemogen is dead. Who is in charge now? Hagatai. Is it unified still? Bloody hell! <laughs> that is not. That is not that far away. That is. Te that is terrifying close, and he still has 53,000 troops. Um, he's like, like a few provinces away from us. He might kill us. I was thinking the Muslims were going to be the issue, and the Tengri's turned up. The Nestorian, though. The Mongols are Nestorian. I don't know what's going on. Also, the Almoravids are dead. There are no, there is no Muslim power beyond the Abbasids. I suppose the Seljuk Rum. France has been taking stuff away from him. The Impaler. Wonderful. Well, I can see where that's gone. They're very evenly matched, to be fair. Okay, well, let's just focus on our own little world, and we're going to swear fealty to whoever we need to to survive. I do want to become Duke pretty soon, but I want to unify the lands first. Very upset about this. Oh, my wife gave me comfort. Now give me another sign. <laughs> Yo! Did you give me 50 bucks? What are you de declaring war for? Okay, nothing to do with me. He's charming, little, little charmer, huh? That you? Okay, let me educate you in the ways of war. Not that I know much. All right, seven out of eight knights. I should invite some knights to be fair. Oh, and they're immediately trying to siege me down. Right, fine, let's declare war. My claims. Like, I swear fealty to you, but you just need to give me my land, you know? It's sort of like, it's sort of like the kings of England, because they, uh, after the conquest, they did uh, owe fealty to the French king, uh, because, well, they had lands in Normandy. So as dukes of Normandy, they did owe fealty which is rather amusing. And just because of how that system worked, you had some weird stuff happen sometimes. Like for example, uh, John, King John of, of English fame, uh, swore fealty to the Pope. <laughs> uh, he also, also almost swore fealty to the Almoravids, like who were like down here. Uh, so he almost became like a subservient to a Muslim ruler, which I think would have been hilarious. He was just, he's a riot, good old John. Terrible King. The amusing thing about King John is he won a stunning and surprising victory um, against France in his, in his, uh, Rain, right? He was called John Lackland because he lacked land. It's like a Ed, um, it's like a Ethelred the Unready, right? Um, which is actually an oxymoron because it's unread, which is uh, Anglo-Saxon for uh, ill-counseled. So his name meant well-counseled, the ill-counseled. So it's not like unready, like he wasn't ready for the Vikings. Anyway, I digress. There's a lot of tangents in this video, but still, uh, yeah, he he won a crucial battle. I think it was in uh, near Angoulême. Um, but he went and like strangled some kids after. Um, well, he was accused of it anyway. And that meant that the guys who were in the Angoulême region, no, that was it. It wasn't in Angoulême. It, there, was, there was this region, very crucial region. Uh, he was trying to secure their loyalty. And instead they flipped to the, to the French throne instead of the English one um, uh, because of that. And so he turned a, a victory into a loss by killing children, which I feel like is, is a good lesson to learn in history. If you're ever curious. I've now rivaled the king of Jerusalem. Makes sense. Yeah, the amusing thing about fighting the Pope, though, is uh, Sicily used to do it quite a bit. Uh, the Dordevilles, uh, another one of my favorite kings in history, Roger II. Uh, the Normans would were, that were in Sicily would fight the Pope on the battlefield, but then be super like, oh no, I'm so sorry. Like, he would threaten with a bit of communication. He's like, we would do anything you ask. Crazy. So they would have to simultaneously be subservient, but also not listen to him. So think, apparently there are, I don't think this is real, but there is a, a, a rumor, a historical rumor, that the guards of um, the Pope, when they captured him, were wore like cotton wool buds in their ears, to, so they couldn't be told uh, to release him under pain of excommunication. So, because obviously he'd be like, oh, you're excommunicated if you don't release me, but they can't, they pretended to not hear him. So that way they're not disobeying the Pope. <laughs> not sure that's how it works, but hey, to each their own. It's a lot more of a chill session, this, because it has been a very hectic couple of days. Like, like I've uh, said, if you're a channel member, you already know about this, uh, then you know that I have um, an MMA fight uh, on the, I think it's the 5th of March, and a jiu-jitsu tournament on the 4th of February. Never competed in jiu-jitsu before. Um, I'm not a striker by nature, but I think it could be fun. Plus, if I'm going to be doing the MMA side of things, that I do need more ground game, because I'm a boxer at heart. Uh, so I, I need to I need to actually learn how to grapple. So yeah, with all that, and also doing a full-time job of YouTube and also a degree. Sometimes things are very hectic and I'm tired. <laughs> so it's nice to just talk about history for a little while. My wife is our lover.
Oh, and nope, she just, she just wanted, just wanted to sleep with me. Not interested beyond that, yeah? In Valencia. Buddy, we got issues down here in the Holy Land because the Abbasids have unified. So, okay, could we get some of that over here? No, no, cool. No beneficiary, my half sister. It does appear we could redirect this war. The Kingdom of Africa, or Frechia. It's just Tunisia and associated <laughs> guys. Um. So Egypt, that, that's a lot of people though. We could go up against the Byzantines. That's not a terrible idea. Uh, I think he's declared, he might have actually already declared war for it. Um, I'm just thinking, who do we fight that's close enough that we'd be able, because here's the thing. If we are the number one contributor to the war, we can get our half-sister there, right? Her only heir is me. So this could be our opportunity to get the hell out of Dodge and away from the big bad Abbasids. How many people have pledged? 37,000. And we're fighting the Mufasids. No, the Masufids. Mufasids. I was about to make a joke about the Lion King and like avenging him, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. I just really like that joke. That's why I said it anyway. Okay. I don't want to. We could fight the Seljuk Rum. That's only 12,000. It's close by. We're going to try and redirect it. We need 500. Okay. We can get 500 by going on a pilgrimage. Go to the Vatican. Say hi to the Pope. All right. Grab 100 piety. There's a ransom. We have a son, he's called Bernard, and we're a pilgrim. Okay, that should be enough for us to see, pursue a little, little, little switcheroo. Uh, we have 50,000 troops now. I could I could leverage this to take out the Abbasids and go for Egypt. It's close by, I think that's the right play. Because we could do Jerusalem, but uh, it's not big enough. Let's do it. Redirect, redirect war, kingdom of... Redirect war target. I think I just messed up the entire crusade because that's a lot of troops. Okay, no, we've got 71,000. Supply capacity is going to be a big one for this. Two months. Here we go. It's 100,000 versus 71,000. All right, we're a crusader. <laughs> Anyone else turning up? <laughs> You're not involved. <laughs> you are a literal crusading kingdom. <laughs> Boys, <laughs> am I the only person on crusade? There's 100,000 of the bastards. <laughs> Could I get some help? Okay, they're turning up now. We need Al-Qahira, Cairo. Oh, that's the capital. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Go, 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 go. I need to be the one to siege that. Oh, it's the Abbasid. I'm just, I'm just... I'm just sieging something random here. Okay, we're going to lose 100 casualties here, but it's worth it. All right, we're going to single-handedly go after the Abbasids. We're going to wait for them to attack, and we're going to go. Okay, that's a huge battle for us to win. Nice. Okay, now that everyone's distracted, go and land on the Abbasid capital. Go, 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 go. He's located there as well. We didn't take him, but we took... Oh, war contribution is first. Nice. Right, let's recover some men, and let's just charge in and see what happens. That was a mistake. War contribution is still first. We've got 100%. Kill the piece, kill the piece. Yes! Okay, right. We did it, we did it, we did it. I'm not going to play as her. We stay. Yes! 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 <laughs> She's 52. She can't have any kids. Queen Beatrice of Egypt! Lads, we have hijacked the Christian faith in order to secure ourselves a crusader kingdom and take out our main rivals all at once. If that isn't massive brain, I don't know what is. Where are our troops? They've all died. <laughs> so I didn't get the crusader trait, which kind of sucks. You've allied who? Cyprus. Yeah. We probably have a lot of prisoners after that. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it was rather short-lived. I need to try and murder. I need to do this. I need to, oh my God, that's a lot of troops. The allied to the Bulgarians? Dude, the Mongol invasion of the Arabian Empire. Uh, that's us, dude, we're gonna border them. Oh my God, he tried to murder me. Man's gonna try and kill me? Me? Look at that, the murder you scheme. Disgusting. All right, I can declare war on you for this claim, but you do have your buddy really close by. Although the recently disembarked penalty means I could probably win. My player became an intricate web weaver. He's not terrible. 9, 9, 10, 13. Not bad. I was about to say, if I can get an alliance, I'm incredible. It only works if I kill him early. Okay, we're still... The, it's, it's all fine. We've been murdered. But this, this is okay. It's a shame the guy died because he was... Uh, was pretty badass. All right, let's get your wife. No one is Herculean. All the strong ones. Any geniuses? I mean, she's 38. Likelihood of having a kid? Well, eh, we'll see. It's worth the risk. Damn, that's a lot of money. Right, we're going to focus on Skullduggery because uh, so far traditional warfare has not really brought us much. Why have you not brought in your ally? You have. He's just not turning up. Why do I speak words? Fortunately, I can do this. Oh, Beatrice. Who would have thought that Beatrice would have been the one that... Uh, <laughs> That did better. Because <laughs> I originally played as this character, but my aunt, the one that I educated initially, that got me those alliances that I married her off. I mean, yeah. Ah, of course. No, I don't. Of course, I lost land. I've, I completely forgot that was a thing. Um, I'm going to take that back, Chief, just so you know. Hook Beirut off me, despite the fact that I won. I suppose because he didn't have anywhere else to go. Well, that's rather frustrating. I'm going to kill this guy because I'm frustrated. Ah, okay, I inherited Egypt. Okay, which means I'm fighting against... Uh, <laughs> than what is what is currently in front of me. Okay. 
Now let's figure out what is going on. <laughs> so what did you do in this in this kingdom before I was here? So there's a bit of an issue with you. That's fine. Everyone around here should be Catholic. I think they are perfect. Now I wanted to become king of Jerusalem. We have Cairo, Al Qahira. Right. I like. I'd like to keep these two. Are they in the same duchy? They are under my control. So I went immediately from a count to a king. Okay, let's shift my capital to deep within my territory. What do I have claims on? Oh, the county of Acre. Okay, right. And Beirut and Irvid. I need to take those lands back, man. Right, well, we can, we can see our throne. Uh, we can put some things up. Like behind me, I'm going to put the Abbasid house banner that we stole. And there's so many hides. Let's put up the, the fearsome fox of Dongola. And the, uh, the ancient fox... There's a lot of foxes. Not sure the Muslims are going to like this, but we'll, we'll chuck up a, a, a boar as well. Not a boar skin, but sure. A grandeur is okay. All right, we're good to go. We're making decent money. My wife is a genius lunatic. Some of us can relate. The lunacy part, not the genius part. All right. Uh, I'm going to need dread gain <laughs> to keep people in line. We're also going to need allies. And for that, I'm going to need kids. And I think you are too old at 41 to give me children. So it looks like the Abbas is lost to the Mongols. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, so, you are all with who? The Khwarezmirids, they didn't fare too well. And you're just an ally uh, in this war, okay. Involved in Indian politics, yeah, that makes, you're in India. Okay, this is a terrifying Mongol Empire. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna ignore it. Just hope he doesn't come after me, that'll be fun. So how much do I need for the Holy War for Duchies? I need to be faithful. Okay, well, we can do that by going... Submit to the Great Khan. I am tempted just because has he taken out the Seljuks as well? Dude, <laughs> the dragon? Man was called Temujin. This guy's the dragon. Ah, okay, who's your... Uh, he only has one son. They're, they're fixing the, the succession as well. This is the most competent Mongol Empire I've ever seen. I just wanted to be king of Jerusalem and instead I'm over here in Egypt. And we're just going to start expanding as fast as we can. I don't think we can put up any resistance against the... Uh, the Mongols, but we can certainly do some damage. Okay, just lost that battle. Cool. That's because you're attacking him. If I wait until you are weakened, I can fight him immediately and then win. And that is tactical. Excellent. Look at that. I'm a genius. Please don't die. Not got a succession set up. Well, I do. He's okay. He's picked a martial education. That'd be kind of cool. Really, buddy? You want to you fight me? Is this necessary? I need more men at arm. Grab some trebuchets for sieges. Want some armored horsemen for fun. And some... Bowman for the banter. We lose a lot of money at war. Bear that in mind. Yeah, you're 50. You're not exactly going to bring me any more kids, are you? Um, I kind of like the idea of having one heir, uh, this chick. He does okay. Have a look. Oh, you're winning? Yo, the Hussainids are actually, they've halted their attack. Oh, it's the Shia, the Sindhi Maturi uprisings are apparently beating 90,000 and they're beating the Mongol Empire. Cannot believe that's happened. <laughs> And I'm gonna play playing as a character called Gandalf. No, you revolted against me. I'm gonna cut off your other- You know what? I'm just gonna go torture all my captives. Do, 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 do. Torture. This one's a kid. Oh, I can't torture children. Horrible later. All right, well, I want forever infamous. I cannot- but the Hussein has actually won. That's very impressive. You're still allied to Cecilia, who are quite- All right, am I killing my wife? I'm not kill... Why am I not- Oh, that's right, I didn't want to. Uh... It's your wife that's the issue. Can I murder her? I can indeed. Everyone hates her. That'll break the alliance, meaning I can fight you honorably, 1v1, after I've murdered your wife. 95% chance, and she's dead. Perfect. Now, because she's dead, you don't have any allies, and I can murder you for my claims. I'm gonna take back my lands. Since the start, I am the Count of Akkad, after all. That's how I started. That's what my grandfather was. Yes, be sadistic, child. Could have been zealous, but no, sadistic makes more sense in this weird, weird world. This is easily the weirdest game of, e of, uh, of CK3 I've ever had. It's remarkably different to uh, what they usually is. Can you just stop running? He's Muslim, right? And he's a, he's a holy warrior. And I get him to fight Catholics for me, which means it's a lot easier for him to kill the Catholics because he hates them. Actually, General Robert Roger II did um, of Sicily. He would um, pitch his uh, Muslim troops against Catholics. Uh, like when he was fighting the Pope, he would use his Muslim troops uh, because he knew that, you know, well, they're not going to care that they're fighting the Pope. Uh, equally, when he was fighting uh, against the uh, Muslims in North Africa, uh, he would predominantly use Catholic troops. Very smart. <gasps> you can't. No, this one's still pretty powerful. <laughs> oh, for... Oh. Thank good, boys. This is uh, what we call a bad situation to be in. Uh, maybe he's less expansionist. Who knows? Oh, he's beating the uprising that was meant to take him out. Okay, that's fun. All right, well, at least we won our war against Jerusalem. 
now. I do want to keep some stuff and get rid of others. Uh, let's get rid of all this stuff. Although, actually, I, I just want it under my control. I don't need Akar itself. Get rid of some of these. Kaiser seems like a good one to get rid of. He's allied this dude who also has 600. He's he's probably pretty pleased at that alliance. That's good matchmaking, that. My kid learned high German. And uh, England continues to lose land. The dung named of England. Really went downhill after the Lionheart, huh? Proven once again, it's all his fault. I'm gonna nip this province, I think. It does say I'm fine 8,000 people, but honestly, I think that's a lie. Ah, okay. It ended because he submitted to the Mongols. Smart guy. Right, let's try and murder the... I'm gonna try and break up this empire myself. I mean, it tells me it's a good idea. There are a lot of people joining and leaving the siege. You know, like how I looked up for like dramatic effect as if it was, I was actually in the game. That was great. I really enjoyed that. Oh my god, it actually worked. It split up into Mongolia, Golden Horde, and Ilkhanic. I think that's worse, because now he's concentrated. There's also the Black Horde. I've just saved the world. <laughs> You're welcome. The collapse of the empire. With the passing of uh, Empire Choma Khan, several successors have, have claimed the position of Great Khan. With none of them recognizing the others, we have finally seen the end of the Mongols as a unified empire. They may not be weak, but they no longer stand united behind a single universal ruler. Thank you for your mercy, God. What do you mean? I did that. Why are you thanking God? <laughs> That was me. Don't to take back Jerusalem. The guy's only 37. He's been ruling a long time. He can also murder you. It's a good idea. I'm gonna try and break up you lot as much as possible. I can found. Who are they that I founded? The Order of Calatrava. Cool. Give this a go. Yep, he's dead. And that splits him up even further. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted. Now, you apparently are fighting King Honfroy. Why? In the county of Karak. Okay, you're definitely gonna lose that. It reunified. Oh, I was looking. I was looking at this. <laughs> Okay, so you won. Don't have a cast his bell eye on you. Okay, well, we want to become a king of Jerusalem, so we're going to need these lands. Ah, it is splitting up. Excellent. Primary is your brother. Uh, I'm just going to keep killing him. Every time they pop up, I'm just going to murder him. I've I've made it my mission to stop the Mongols. I don't know if I made them stronger or weaker or... Um, well, they don't look too pretty strong. <laughs> too strong. Uh, that's why intrigue's a really fun thing. You could just murder murder people. All right, can I seek indulgences? When it gives me 100 piety, I need way more than that. How do I get more piety? Pilgrim response? Yep. Nice. Oh, we went to Vatican. Let's go to Cologne. Damn, that cost me a lot of money. I'm gonna get lost. It's fine. Dude, this guy's sick. Look at him. All right, we're gonna go after the uh, Ilkhanate now. Because everyone's declaring war on them. And I, I don't really feel left out. We've got 12,000 troops. Oh, they're all gonna spawn up here. That's fine. One go there. One go there. One go there. There's a holy war for Jerusalem, boys. We're taking it back. Technically, we lost Jerusalem. But we didn't lose the kingdom of Jerusalem. So I still count that as winning in my book. Okay, uh, uprising. I'll, I'll be there in a bit. All right, we are losing a lot of money per month. We're just gonna murder a man. All right, we're just going to sit here and wait whilst this ticks up. All right, there we go. We now need to hand off this land to other people like George. I want to keep Jerusalem for myself. Oh, something happened. Soldier Grum. Yeah, okay. So that, there go the Ilkhanate. Completely. I've I've killed them all. And you're about to lose. The oh, okay. Well, there go all of the Mongols. This man single-handedly took out the Mongols. And my wife is dead. Right, this war is starting in four months. I want to be quick on the draw here. So we are going to summon our troops when it gets to two months. Raise all armies. Now we wait. Today is Vault. And it's against the Camel lot. One is an normal tribute. War Constitution, we've got 88%. Bang, there we go. So, Kingdom of Africa. And I am the primary heir. You know what that means? Goodbye. I mean, well, for, for pretty soon. <laughs> Just occurred to me that I should probably create the title of Jerusalem. And then make it my primary title. And now I'm the King of Jerusalem. <laughs> I did it. Well, Jerusalem just got a little bit bigger. Eh, look at that. We own North Africa and parts of Sicily. And we've also got a foothold in Iberia. Well, lads, I think that's where we'll leave it for today. Yeah, hell of a, hell of a run. Um, I thought for a moment that the Mongols were going to ruin everything. But the Mongols are no more. Well, there's one Mongol horde left that can really do uh, some damage. Um, Seljuk's, Seljuk's been doing okay. Uh, yeah, the Black Horde's gone. All the other... Hordes that spawn out of it are basically dead. Meanwhile, England has been slowly destroyed. Uh, it's always apparently close, and then they just lose. This time, they're going to lose Normandy. That's Henry IV, the Impaler. Pretty sure everyone was an Impaler. <laughs> Takes charge. Oh, an island form. That's nice. That's good for them. Does put an end to the most chaotic CK3 campaign I've ever, have ever had the chance to be a part of. Starting out as the uh, Count of Acker, um, messing around, losing Acker, and more than, like, the, uh, the hijinks were had. I think is the best way to describe this video. In any case, lads, I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do consider becoming a channel member today. It does help. I don't know why I added it today. You can do it anytime, I suppose. Uh, like and subscribe also goes a long way. So please do those as well. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.
Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.